Are we people of reason? Does faith discourage or encourage contemplation and reflection? Who created the universe? And is there an alternate reality? Is it reasonable to put all my thought, time, energy, and wealth in pursuit of material possessions? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار ربنا إنك من تدخل النار فقد أخزيته وما للظالمين من أنصار ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربنا بكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا وآتنا ما وعدنا تنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف الميعاد صدق الله العظيم. So, is there an alternate reality? We experience dreams. We experience a natural inclination to believe in one God. We experience deja vu. We see miracles. We see a perfect planner and a perfect architect when we look at the earth, sun, moon, stars, and seasons. Our own bodies and souls are signs that point to an Almighty. The day of judgment. And the eternity of paradise and hell are hard to imagine and comprehend. Our intellect is limited by space, time, and worldly knowledge. Allah tells us about these future events. Allah tells us about the day of judgment. These are facts. Allah tells us, our Lord, grant us what you have promised us through your messengers. And do not put us to shame on Judgment Day, for certainly you never fail in your promise. Both believers and non-believers will reap what they sow. For God promises, and God's promises are guaranteed to take place. Are we people of reason? People of reason read signs. They remember their creator and they proclaim, you have not created all of this without purpose. Glory be to you, protect us from the torment of the fire. So does faith discourage or encourage contemplation and reflection? Contemplation is an essential part of worship. It assigns for people of reason. Reflections and contemplations will take our dead or heedless heart to being awake and alive. 
Reflection and contemplation will take us from worldly dependency to worldly independence. Reflection and contemplation will take us from the constraints of ignorance to the expansion of knowledge. Is it reasonable to put all my thought, time, energy, and wealth in pursuit of material possession? It depends on who we want to be when our souls leave our bodies. Do we want to be financially rich or do we want to be virtuous and spiritually enriched? True believers proclaim our Lord, forgive our sins, absolve us of our misdeeds and allow us each to die as one of the virtuous. May we, we, may we remember Allah while standing, sitting, and lying on our sides. May we reflect on the creation of the heavens and the earth. May Allah allow us to recognize that all this has been created for a purpose. May Allah make us people of reflection, contemplation, and reason. May peace the blessings of Allah be with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.